How's it going, guys? Good back here again with some more. We're all here in MTG Arena today. We are checking out Baraska the Silencer. I lost, lost you there for a second. I'm about to say, I am uh, in post near rage clarity. I'm about to say, I'm a very, very calm person, but one of the few things that can get me gets under my skin is when a specific arena bug happens um sometimes after they update the uh i can't do anything about that sometimes after a major update there'll be a bug where you're building a deck in editor and uh, either yeah, way back in the day it was with waste that's when it really first cropped up but if you put waste into a deck back then and tried to save it it wouldn't save anymore and then if you took the waste out it still wouldn't save so there's a weird there used to be a weird save glitch in that regard where uh oh don't want that i think i'm gonna wait i don't want to wait, don't want to wait. is i think we just have to wait uh it was a weird save bug and back then you basically lost all progress on whatever deck you were working on That was just how it was. Uh, but it happened again today with this deck. I had spent like 20, 20 minutes to 45 minutes building this deck. And um, it happened. I tried crafting a reanimate for the deck. And uh, Arena said, no, you cannot redeem wild cards at this time because of a network error, and then Arena said, uh, yeah, you can't save the deck because of network errors either. Uh, which very, very nearly Hmm. We have to regenerate to save our commander. You like to see it. And then next time we find finality. Ouch. Uh, but thankfully, since that time, since the ancient days, um, Wizards has added a rude that one yeah look at Zorn look at my Zorn right, no attack we do take damage unfortunately Weird. Ouch. That's four damage right there. Can we take another how much? Six. Hmm. Which mana can I generate next turn? Uh, more with this. Yeah. 
didn't go there. I guess we go for the nothing. We go for the nothing. Uh, just to stay alive a little bit longer. Nebraska, she's like on Bullion, but you have to pay mana, which is slightly worse, but she is also more mana cheaper than Bullion, which is nice. Hmm. Acidic Thorn? To destroy the lifelink. Die Fisher. Like that. To destroy the herb rask. Yes, this doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Oh well. Uh, we have to start working our opponent's life total, I think. Uh, but that bug is fixed. Uh, because Arena auto saves wherever you left off in deck editor for crashes now, I guess. Uh, and. Oof. Oof. Barely got it out of that one. The deck progress did not die on the vine. In the past, I've just remade it, and uh, that does work, so we can do. Uh, that's a land. Uh huh. Reveal that. Put a counter there. Reveal that. Put a counter there. And I don't think we actually need to uh, to draw any cards. And then we die to the one ring. They can deal three damage, which to the one ring doesn't mean much. And then Tet Lamok will be coming down. Gained a little bit of life. Looks like we will not be uh not be playing our commander opponent. Bit of a shame. Wondering magic always always solves the day. Mm -hmm. I had good lifelink, I would be more aggressive, I think, but I just don't have it. And against Mono Red, anything below three is a death sentence. Ooh, it worked out. Although we might not get in three games, which is a bit of a shame. But I generally, I try to shoot for uh our major goal is under 40 minutes because we can play Magic Gathering for 40 minutes in a single game sometimes, but uh, overall, keeping the video under 40 minutes, like that, that's that's the whole goal. Although most of ours tend to come out to be about half that. Uh, 
It's mainly so that the uh, the cutoff point is at the halfway mark, right? So, do I want this? I think I will keep this. I'll get a black source so that I can go for the throat easier. And uh, line up Baraska to grab something nice. Although our opponent is probably an equipment deck, so... This creature probably will not have a very fun or enter, fun into the battlefield triggers. At least not for us. Uh, you're an instant, so I can wait. We'll probably play Veraska on or. And three orc. I'd rather them remove the commander than play an actual creature. My removal is limited. So if I buy myself a turn to draw a card with Veraska, I think it's worth it. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. That worked out for us. I can't believe it. Are we commandering? We have the mana. Opponent. No need for that. Dougal Gari Charm is actually very beastly. It is a house. <laughs> Don't know why I slept on you. Mm hmm. I think we just pass again. We didn't draw land, which is unfortunate, but our intention is murderous rider. Grab something valuable. Like Batterbone is not gonna not gonna get through. So what is the big version of this called again? Batter Batter something. Um, lost GT? E. Not doing as always well GT, but still pretty scary. Going for the Raska Killian? In the hearing. I too am the equipment commander. I do not have any equipment. It's a shame that it's Nahiri because we can actually can actually copy her. Decline. You can only copy them if they choose to leave their commander in the graveyard. So it does guarantee a way for uh, forcing your commander, your opponent, to pay the commander tax, which is interesting, I suppose. I do have a fair amount of. In Artifact removal. Uh, I guess you only remove enchantments, but uh, there are a couple other cards in the deck that serve the same function. And then we have the generic gold Golgari package that that's permanent as opposed to uh, or non land permanent generally uh, as opposed to a specific thing. Ew, war colors call. Have another creature on it. It's got his aid. 
It's my, uh, my fifth land. Hope to see it. I'm gonna borrow a land from you, opponent. Yeah, that one will work. Yeah, I didn't get the Amranimate in the deck because I didn't really want to tempt fate with another another crash, but probably wouldn't have happened either way. Yeah, so Nahiri, yeah. Okay. Unshot Militia. We have enough artifacts that is kill. Do not imagine, though, that, uh, gonna let it go that far. Hmm. Yeah, five mana left over, so we can pay one. And we'll start cart drawing. I haven't lost too many creatures, so find is not great at the moment. The war caller would have done it. Either way, I think we'll end her off there for now. Veraska is uh really powerful. At least I think so. Like unlike Angoliant, who turns him into Food. She turns them into treasures, which treasures will always add mana. So the one mana you pay is invested into subsequent turns. And if they have reasonable abilities, they keep them. So, like, very powerful, very cheap. I'll probably return to her at some point. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.